she did for that old man out on Portsmouth. I think that's what it's all about. Yep. Um, also, I would like to see uh, some type of, I guess, dignity brought back to the um, to the drivers of the Commonwealth. Also, right now, the Legal Aid Justice Center is uh, taking the Department of Motor Vehicles to court over debtors' prison and um, not um, suspending suspending licenses of low income families. Yep. Actually, it does everybody, but it affects low income the most. It affects minorities and low income yep. the most. And apparently there's an estimated over 1 million drivers that are driving out there without licenses, mainly due to they just can't pay the fines. Uh, I myself, all full disclosure, I've been incarcerated because of this. Yep. And uh, 90%, I would honestly say 90% of the people that are incarcerated in, in your local jails are in the, there for traffic violation danny can, can i if you don't mind me asking you a question what uh, what was your infraction that you were that you were fined for um my infraction was failure to pay the fine I, I honestly i wasn't working at the time and i was looking for work and uh um, i got pulled over um it all started with uh not having a, an inspection i mean I, I was struggling this was in 2008 uh i was a construction worker and it, it hit us hard and uh, um, that's how it started. All right, so and you got you it, got fined for not having a, having your car inspected, basically. Yes, yes. I okay. did not have money to get inspected. All I figured right. I, could, I could get away with going, you know, driving the back roads, and I did it. All right, let's let's get the governor's response to that. <laughs> and you and I have had this discussion before. You know, I come at this. Listen, as y'all know, I I started my first business at fourteen because I was going to have to pay for college. I became our nation's youngest bank chairman at thirty. I've started dozens of companies. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. The idea, we want Danny back in society, we want him working. And the idea, we are preventing people from being able to drive, to get to work, to make money, to guess what? To pay off the fines, <laughs> to get him out of this situation. This is so upside down. And I do think we need a comprehensive look at that. There's a way we can do this. I want Danny and others back working. I want them being able to pay their fines. How can we expect them to pay their fines off if they can't work because they can't here's, drive to work? Here's the real irony, Governor, of Danny's situation. He got fined because he didn't have his vehicle inspected. Right. But if you have an old enough hoopty, I mean a really yep. old enough hoopty, you can, you can put an antique plate on it, and you don't have to ever have it inspected. Yeah. How, how bizarre is this? Yeah. You know, if the idea truly is safe.